Hi, my name is Stephen and I am a hyper competitive person. Uh, so my mission in life was to be the best at everything. For example, I wanted to be the best uh, at academics and so I wanted to be the best head boy at my school. I wanted to be the best soccer player in Phoenix and so I trained hard, I worked hard um, and um, I actually became quite good to the point where uh, I went for trials uh, at Amazulu, so uh, I was really proud of myself. Uh, but the point is that I wanted to be the best at everything. Above all of that, uh, I wanted to be morally and ethically uh, superior than my classmates and my family and really everyone that I came into contact with. And uh, I worked out that one of the ways I can truly achieve that is to is to actually um, sort of stay away from the big three of our generation, which was sex, alcohol, and drugs. And, and so when my friends invited me to uh, the house party or to the clubs, um, I said no, because uh, it was there where those kinds of things happened and it happened quite regularly. So I stayed away from that. And um, I even went as far not to date for my entire schooling career because um, just listening to my friends and uh, just observing them and hearing them speak, uh, I noticed that, that dating was actually a gateway or, or a doorway to fornication to have sex before marriage. Uh, so in summary, I wanted to be a good person. I wanted to be perfect and uh, ethically superior than everyone else uh, through abstinence. I wanted to be this good model citizen, if you like, uh, through abs abstinence. But everything changed in 2004 when I matriculated and uh, I went to Joburg and in search of work. But one month turned into two, and two months turned into three, and then I blinked and six months had gone by, but I couldn't find any job, no employment at all. For a hyper-competitive person, this, this really sucked you know it wasn't great it wasn't the best feeling uh, in the world i went for several interviews and none of the guys that interviewed me came back and said you got the job and so it really really hurt me a great deal and so i was looking for someone to blame and um, the person that i blamed was god um, i thought he was out to get me i thought he was out to humiliate me he wasn't for me but against me he was working uh, for my bad instead of my good and so I, I blamed God for everything that was happening in my life at that time so I was really at a low point uh, depressed and it and it showed in the way I was behaving uh, in and around the house you know I was moping all the time I slept for most of the day um, and I was really uh, sulking all the time uh, really depressed and um, I was having those Eeyore days, uh, you know, Eeyore, the donkey from Winnie the Pooh. That's how I felt uh, each and every day uh, because I didn't get a job and I was really, really upset and blamed God for everything. And my sister noticed that and uh, what she did was she uh, handed me a Bible and said, read it. And she said, you're doing nothing at home. Uh, why don't you use some of the time to uh, read the Bible? And uh, one thing I've learned is that you don't say no to your big sister or else. Uh, and so I, I listened to her, I sat down, I opened to the New Testament because I was familiar with it. I grew up in a Christian home, I went to church, so I was familiar with the New Testament. I started with Matthew. And to be honest with you, I couldn't put it down. I started with Matthew, I ended up reading up until um, Revelation. I read the entire New Testament a very short space of time and what I found is that Jesus is the best there was there is and there ever will be and this sort of surprised me took me by surprise uh, because I thought you know, I was the best and I could achieve and compete with anyone else but I couldn't compete with Jesus you know from his uh, miraculous or uh, supernatural miracles to his uh, perfect life uh, to his death on the cross and his resurrection from the dead I could not compete with him at all and so I quickly realized that Jesus is the best there is there was and there ever will be
and for a hyper competitive person this is a hard pill to swallow. I also realized that not only was I not the best but I was the worst of the worst destined for this place called hell and this really scared the living daylights out of me. I, I just was sobbing and weeping. I couldn't believe it that here's um, God through his word telling me that you know what Stephen uh, you are actually in my sight because you cannot attain to my standards I see you as the worst of the worst but what I also found out which is really really good news and you need to listen up at this point is that Jesus didn't come for the best of the best he actually came for the worst of the worst he came for me and he came to forgive me through his death on the cross not only forgive me but also to make me more like him, to create a new person, a person that is more like Jesus. And so that really encouraged me, and that really warmed my heart. And I was so attracted to Jesus that I began to learn more about him, to study more about him, to get to know him better. From that day onwards, I started to follow Jesus. And now my new life looks like not striving to be the best, but striving to be more like Jesus. Not striving to compete in competitions, but actually to develop a character just like my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so that is my new normal. And it also involves serving Him and serving His people, getting to know Him better and also to make Him known. So I hope this, my testimony has been a blessing to your hearts. God bless. Thank you.